And what's your name? My name is William Schindler, and we're at uh, 201 West Jefferson, and uh, we're having an auction here around noon time. And they're what date is today? Today is the Thursday, the 13th. Okay, and we're we're in front of the court. In front of the court. 201 West Jefferson. And we're waiting to have the the people come in. We want to discuss to them that we want to go ahead. You're unlawfully you're trying to auction off my home. Here's the paperwork. It's already been paid for. I have uh, these items recorded in Pinal. And right Pinal now, where? Pinal County. Yeah, Pinal County. And at this time, you're. This is an un unlawful auction on my house. Okay, so you file paperwork. What kind of paperwork have you filed, Bill? Uh, William. A, an affidavit, notice of default. Okay, you want to hold that up for the camera for just real quick? Well, I don't know if that's going to come in. Hang on. And it's been recorded? It's been recorded. Okay. Uh, we're dealing with that and then a, and then a notice of, of lien. Okay, hang on. These two items were uh, reported yesterday that these are going to be handed to the auctioneer. Okay. And what will that do? What are you, what are you, what are you wanting the to accomplish? The objective today is to, is to cancel the auction. Okay. And how are you able to file these notices of lien against on your property? Well, the home has already been paid for. What, what, how do you say that the home has been paid for? Three-day presentment. Because of the presentment letter. Okay, so in your presentment letter, it asks them for what? To produce some documentation showing they. That's right. Produce the uh, person that actually has the loan. Okay. And um, uh, they haven't been able to bring forth that information. So you sent, and then the, if they didn't, weren't able to send you the information back, then the action was that the ho the home was then therefore yours. Correct? Is that what we're? That's why we're giving them the paper. Okay, so they never they never responded to your 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 private commercial agreement. commercial agreement. Is right. that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, and so we are going to do what? We are going to at this point in time, you're going to present this information to who? Uh, to the auctioneer. Okay, do we know his name? No, uh, it's Lender Process Services. Okay. So we're going to be contacting him and bring across this information, and the goal is to cancel the. Okay, and then if what happens if they decide to uh, uh, not comply or not uh, avoid what we're what we're talking about? What what is the process going to be then? Well, the process is will be uh, dealing with the FBI. Will we be signing uh, witness papers that they, they they continue to go forward with this auction, and then we'll we'll follow up lit with litigation. Okay, and what time? It's 11:39. Uh, yes. Okay, 11:39 a.m. on 1:13. Uh, 2011 here at the county courthouse 201 West Jefferson right. okay, so the, what is your name sir okay my name's Hal Epperson okay and again I've uh, I've been trying to help Bill uh, William Schindler uh, and others uh, to try and understand their rights uh, as far as what uh, what processes they have uh, this fraudulent mortgage uh, confiscation of property so um, the process we do is a commercial admiralty process, which is a three-day presentment letter or a presentment letter. You can have it uh, up to 21 days. But the presentment letter is not the standard uh, show me the wedding signature, which is the only thing that's lawfully uh, able to be uh, presented in a court. If you go to court, you're going to lose no matter what. But the presentment letter, what it does, it, it also it says where's the wedding signature for one. But also uh, it, it demands that they show forensic accounting of where they actually sustain a loss or loaned money. And they can't prove that they loaned money because they didn't. They, they used the pass-through account, they charged it, they energized this note through the uh, uh, U.S. Treasury, through his birth certificate account, and they, they made this happen. So, um, there's three other bullet points that are somewhat insignificant, but they're just uh, dotting the I's, crossing the T's on the presentment letters. But essentially what happens is they go into default the, the company, the mortgage company, who is perpetuating this fraud, will not be able to answer any of the bullet point items in the request letter. And it's your right if they're saying, Sh you know, you owe me money, I'm taking your house. You have the right, truth in lending, uh, to say you're asking for me to give you something. Prove that I owe you something, and they cannot do that. So that's basically what it is. And 
And you know, if we need to go to court, we'll have to. But uh, typically, this process is done. It's a it's a commercial uh, agreement between the parties. Um, there's no conflict. There's no disagreement. So it, it's not for the courts. It's not to go in and take it to the public side. It's to remain in the private side. You have, they have a claim against you that uh, you owe them money. You're giving them a negative averment, which is a counterclaim in admiralty and an opportunity for them to cure. You're only asking them to prove what their claim is, and your counterclaim is that they don't have proof to prove their claim. So they're in default, therefore they have no right. They have no standing, they have no right to take your property. So all it is is just an agreement. And when you've got an agreement, a commercial agreement, you don't have a disagreement, you don't have to get attorneys or the courts or anybody else involved with it. It's a, it's a private agreement between the parties. Unless there's conflict, you don't have to take it to court. It's a commercial lien, it's a commercial right between the parties to settle their matter. And you don't need the court involved. So that's what this process is in a nutshell. Thank you very much, Al. You're with Lender Processing Service. Right? And with okay. LPS. All right, thanks. Official, he's overwhelmed. He's pushing to his man. We have a uh, need to cancel uh, my house. Uh, the TS number is this one. It's, uh, uh, all right, I'll look it up. Can you just let me get set up here. Sure. It's over here. I'm new to this. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people here looks like it's a lot of people. Okay. Kind of feels like the sharks. Yep. That's a good way to put it. I have like the buzzer. Oh, wait. Nine or eleven. I just, I'm so oh, well, what's more important? Cash <laughs> I do say that. <laughs> They're saying you're too far along. Well, that's because you have equity in your house. That's why. Since 14 years in, yeah. That's, that's you have equity. That, that's the only time they want to go after it. So. Yeah. So I'm curious. If you're upside down, the bank will just, uh, you know, they'll bid on it and get it back, and then they'll do whatever they need to get you out of the house, forcible arrest and detainers, and go further forward. Yeah. I'm not up to that. That's okay. I mean, yeah. I'll write my info on the back. A lot of stuff. All the dead relatives there to go through. What's my timeline? I saw numbers the same as it is on here. That's the name of the And if we can't make tomorrow, we can just go on for a couple of weeks. Just looking at the process. This is an awful. Notice on my, my house, they're trying to auction it off. Let me look it up. Uh, we'll go sure. It's probably the bank that did it. The trustee is probably loan. Maybe you'll, I just contact home and see. But it's probably the bank that's probably loan. So it's probably the uh, bank. Uh, yeah, there's, no, there's nothing you'll be able to do. The only way you can stop the sale is if you have an unusual like, uh, bankruptcy. Is this on Montanita Drive? Yes. <laughs> yes, I have recorded a, a notice of lien and an affidavit notice of default, and I'm here to. Uh, Do you have a coffee I can keep? Something you can like have. You can have that at yours. Okay. Now, no. if you want, what you might want to do is hang out. All I can do is I cannot stop any sale. All I can do is forward this on to my company, and then you can just hang out for uh, for results. I need to give you these. These are the actual recording of the lien. Okay. And uh, more information on that. Oh, you need to tell them we've got about 13 witnesses yeah, here. That if he continues with the auction, you're going to be done. I understand that. Done. Okay. I understand that. <laughs> Criminal act. The, 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 okay. Unless they tell me different, we can kind of go from there. So that's understand. why I said, you guys I hang out, I wait for results, yeah. and then go from there. No, I'm game. I'm game. We, we faxed everything to them yesterday. Yeah. We were hoping that they'd, uh, that they'd yeah, get we'll back. Do the right thing. But they didn't. Yeah. But so far. Now, we understand. You, you, you're, you're doing what you got to do, brother. We understand. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, I won't do anything illegal out here. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> a lot of people don't know. How about unlawful? <laughs> yeah, actually, actually, I need you to sign in. It would be a couple minutes. Okay.
Okay, so that was So the service was presented. So just tell me what happened. I gave him the information and he's gonna go through the properties and contact the powers to be and uh, see if we can get this thing canceled for today. Alright guys, give me a second. I'm gonna delay sales for about ten minutes. That's all I know at this time. Oh. This year, 13 witnesses or so that are going to sign affidavits of criminal complaint saying that he's been notified that this auction is unlawful, it's illegal. Bill has lawful right to his house. He has a notice of default from the mortgage company. He proved that they are in default on this mortgage. They did not prove a lawful right of the claim. He's got notice of default filed in the Pinal County Recorder's Office, and he's got a notice of lien filed in Pinal County Recorder's Office. We faxed everything to the mortgage company. Everybody's aware of this. The lender or the auctioneer was given this information yesterday. If they continue, all, all these witnesses, 13 witnesses, are going to file affidavits of criminal complaints saying they saw him serve, he continued with the auction, he's going to be a party to the action in addition. So it'll be class action lawsuit against the, the process server and their company and him personally, this Jonathan guy, whatever his name is, we'll get that before we leave. But he's trying to find out right now. They're going to continue going what they're doing. We won't know if he's auctioned the house off until later, so we, we stick around. You don't have to stick around, you just witnessed that he was served. Now, if we have proof that they auctioned it or that, that the bank bought it back somehow fraudulently, you just file you 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 witness the thing that you saw a criminal act going on and you're done. So that's what we're so doing. So what are witnesses uh, fit into this class action? So can we sign now? The you, you can sign now, yeah. Bill. Uh, that would probably be Bill a good idea. Sign. Yeah, Bill can have you sign everything. And because of the witnesses, the affidavit of criminal complaint, the witnesses sign, and then there's three witnesses, the witness witnesses sign. So it's, it's, it's three common law witnesses witness the witness say what they do. So everybody can witness everybody's documents right now. We can date it, time it, and show what we did. And we've even got a tape here. Thomas is taping it for, for everybody to see. So that's for posterity. Right he's, 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 he's trying to see if they'll go forward. We faxed this yesterday. And they have this information. They're just made, they right made nothing. Hand. They did, yeah. Unfortunately, I mean, last minute, but he has proved, what he did was he, he, he served them a, a, a presentment letter that, that not only said, where's the wedding signature, but also proved to me in a forensic accounting certified that you did actually lend money. Show me where you loaned money and, and incurred a negative debt on your ledger site. So they didn't. They did not put up anything of value. Their hands are dirty. They're committing fraud by trying to confiscate his property right now. So that's what we're doing. We're just stopping that right now. People that don't know their rights are going to get rolled over by this. They're just, they're just going to take everything they can. If you don't know what to do, you got to do it. Now the courts and the judge, they'll rule exactly how the legal system has trained them to do. They don't know anything about this maritime commercial admiralty, which is what the presentment letter is. The presentment letter is an agreement between the parties. If there's no disagreement between the parties, there's no reason for the courts to get involved. No controversy. There's no controversy. It doesn't go to court. It's a private agreement between the parties. He's saying a counterclaim, okay? They're claiming he owes them money. He counterclaimed, prove that I owe you money, provide me these five bullet point items, and we'll go further. I'll pay the debt. They are in default. He gave them an X amount of days to prove they have a lawful right to a claim. They have no lawful right to a claim. So they're in default. Therefore, this contract they've accepted through their through their silence, their acquiescence, they've accepted the terms and conditions of this private commercial agreement. So there's no controversy, there's no conflict, it doesn't go to court, it's not a judicial process. It's a private contract between the parties. They say you owe something, he says, I don't believe I do, prove it. They defaulted, so it's just like a default judgment in the courts, it's done. So now if he goes forward with the auction, he himself is going to be entered into as, as part of the judgment. So that's, that's what we're doing right now. Excellent. Hey Jonathan. Yes. What is your last name, please? Uh, my last name is Arbalo. I work with LPS. Okay. Lender Processing Service. I have a business card. So if you like, oh yeah, if you have a business card, that'd be fantastic. Okay. Who are you with? I'm Thomas Costanzo. Good.